Becoming a citizen of the United States can often be a decades long journey. Yes, and Sarah McGrew spoke to one Milwaukee man who was in the home stretch of making his American dream a reality. Eduardo Perea came to Milwaukee when he was 15 years old, but the decision to come wasn't an easy one, leaving his parents and rural farming community in Zacatecas, Mexico, a state right in the center of the country. Because we personally didn't even own a farm, and there was no way for me to continue education, so I see no future in myself. He came without a visa. Now 47, Eduardo has lived in the Milwaukee area for 32 years undocumented. He's earned his GED, learned English, and now works in construction and home remodeling. And he started a family, which is the main reason when he applied for citizenship in the early 2000s, he didn't go through with it. I had two kids at the time, which was six and seven. I wasn't going to leave him behind. Because he had been in the U.S. for more than a year undocumented, he would have had to return to Mexico for 10 years before applying for citizenship. So he stayed, trying to put aside the fear that at any moment he could be deported and working and contributing to the country he now calls home. I'm paying my income tax every year, so I have the same responsibilities and obligations of any other citizen. I just don't have the same opportunity. But he's ensured his kids do have the opportunities he doesn't. Two of them, now college graduates. How proud are you of your kids? I, I am very proud of them. My wife and I did absolutely everything that was in our hands to give these kids an opportunity. And his oldest daughter now sponsoring Eduardo and his wife as they apply again for citizenship. It's been a four year process. It's a very long time, very expensive and very uncertain. But uh, I think we're on the final stretch and we're waiting for an, um, an interview appointment. As Eduardo awaits his citizenship decision, he's also helping others fight for citizenship. Tonight, he's headed to D.C. with Voces de la Frontera to advocate for a pathway to citizenship for undocumented essential workers who helped during the pandemic. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.